Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Dave Neal here, Power Recapper, coming to you from Tulum, Mexico. That's right, we had the wedding a couple days ago. I'm still on vacation, but I've got a couple videos for you trying to keep up with this Bachelor in Paradise storyline in a brand new twist. So I'm going to get to this in a second. I appreciate you guys uh, dealing with my subpar audio, as you do here. But um, I'm going to share with you some of the Instagram stories from my wedding. That's right, I'm gonna share this uh, exclusively with my YouTube audience and anyone on Instagram. So that's all coming your way. Don't forget to the Patreon members, I will have the full wedding video, the full, uh, full ceremony, beginning to end, uncut for you guys very soon. Uh, the internet's a little slow here, so I'm trying to upload that. If it's not here, it'll be by this weekend, okay? So that's at patreon.com slash Dave Neal. All right, so in order for us to talk about the brand new twist that's appearing tonight, we first need to show what happened last week. So I'm going to play the different trailers for you guys. So let's just jump over to last week and see what we missed out. Get the cameras ready. Tonight. Hello. Sally's case isn't closed. She just lies, lies, lies. And the drama. Again, this is from six days ago, so we're just catching up real quick. Drama continues in waves. She's acting like we were something when we were nothing. Do I not have a following enough for you? Oh my God. As a surprise return. Who is this? Shakes up the beach. You're trying to steal my man at the 11th hour. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> Bachelor in Paradise, tonight on ABC and uh, stream on Hulu. So, uh, that's so, uh, uh, we've got comments saying, Genevieve gaslights so hard I can't with her. All right, take a shot every time someone's accused of gaslighting. We had Pizza Pete there accusing Brittany Galvin of uh, being a clout chaser. Uh, so let's play a couple of these clips here. Everybody is finding love in paradise. All right, this, we might have to bail out of this. Stupid. I feel like there's no girls here. There's seven of us now, right? Seven. Seven. But I love that when guys are at the bar, yo, there's nobody here. It's like, bro, maybe you're just not good at talking to women, you know? Because like, oh, this stinks. We need to go somewhere else. It's like, is it the venue or is it your lack of interpersonal skills? All right, crickets, crickets. All right. All right, love, love, love. Okay, you guys can go see that. Um, a lot of, boy, they got Jacob everywhere. He's doing bench presses with, um, you know, pineapples. Uh, what? These are real. I mean, they're really uh, barrel scraping. Uh, by the way, if you're three or four weeks into Bachelor in Paradise and you're barrel scraping, you don't have much of a storyline. All right, here it is. Another group is brought in. Let's watch. Everything is about to change. For the first time ever, it's split week. Ladies, you'll be leaving paradise immediately. As one group of women leaves, another group is brought in. What's the right thing to do, and what will I do? Bachelor in Paradise, new Monday on ABC and stream on Hulu. Okay, that's coming tonight. So the question is, what's the new deal? That's what we want to know. What's the new deal? So I'll play that trailer for you in a second. We'll get back to it. Um, most people, uh, it seems 90 plus percent of people have not enjoyed uh, this Jared Ashley storyline, but let's keep up with it. Hot. You're 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 hot. Hyping up the drunk friend we just met in the bathroom. Very nice. Okay, there's that. Uh, moving on. So here's what Bachelor in Paradise posted. They've kind of given away the deal of split week. So Monday, the women that are arriving today, Kate Gallivan, formerly of the Oppenheim Group, um, Sarah Hamrick, uh, was that Clayton season? Florence Alexandra, who, by the way, off the top of my head, I have no idea who that is, El Eliza, um, Eliza, and then Jesenia Cruz. Tuesday, Adam Todd, Alex B, Olu, Rick, and Tyler. So a lot, I mean, gosh, it's almost like for lack of good tv the show just keeps adding new people it's like just give us good people we don't need a lot you don't need a lot of people for the show to do well um but anyway here's our final two trailers let's jump into it everything is about to change tonight this is why for the first time ever we're testing relationships in a new way ladies it's time to go pack your bags you'll be leaving paradise immediately it's split week as one group of women leaves another group is brought in they look good i can't even lie everyone should explore that's why we're here in paradise which relationships will survive what's the right thing to do and what will i do we're ready to burn paradise down 
Bachelor in Paradise, new tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC and stream on Hulu. Okay, Every, and of course the comments are always like, oh, you're stealing from Love Island, which they are. This is, uh, you know, they've taken this from other successful formats, but that's how it works. You know, you're playing football, some team runs a cool play, you find a way to run the same play. Is it plagiarism? I don't know. Uh, it's just when something works, you take it. Um, someone commented, the show has gone downhill. It is just filled with drama and manipulation. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, here's our final trailer for tonight's episode. And as a reminder, I'm going to be traveling tomorrow back to the U.S., so I'm not going to be back in studio until Wednesday, even though Wednesday will probably be a half day for me because then I have to drive a couple hours to get the dog and all that jazz. Here's the final trailer. Ladies, I'm really sorry, but it's time to go pack your bags because you'll be leaving paradise immediately. We're ready to burn paradise down. I know. A lot of these girls who are leaving right now and coming back to a man. This opportunity is kind of confusing to me. Oh my gosh, like, what are we doing here? This is bad news. F you, Jesse Palmer! Oh, very nice, very nice. The F you, Jesse Palmer, of course, playing, paying homage to F you, Chris Harrison, said by one Chad Johnson. And um, our friend Dr. Diane Sterkowski posted this right here. Casa Amor only works when you have heartthrobs for both the men and women, and when there are actual relationships formed to be tested. What will the single woman get out of this? Sounds awful. Um, trying so incredibly hard, ripping off formats of other shows isn't working in your favor. Hey, I mean, what are you going to do, you know? Everyone, you, you know, every other dating show took from The Bachelor, which is one of the first dating shows I feel like on TV, right? So, hey, what can you do? I don't really care. All right, so anyway, as promised, I'm gonna share with you guys just a couple of the um, uh, Instagram stories from my page here, because of course, you know, we got married on Saturday. So here was the ceremony. And of course, by the way, you look, you're gonna get a lot of this content. If you don't want this content, it's at the end of this video. You don't have to consume it. Um, I do have to tell you, I, I blocked a few people. I just, I was feeling extra like IDGAF uh, the other day, and I blocked a few people that were criticizing me for making content while I was away on vacation. My fiance is off at the spa right now getting a spa treatment. I'm sorry, did you hear, did you hear what I just said? I said my fiance, my wife. I'm sorry, That's, I told her, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna mess this up a couple times because we've been engaged for so long that I'm gonna mess it up, but my wife uh, is uh, getting a nice massage, and um, I have every right to do what brings me joy. And it actually brings me joy to talk about the silly show and talk to you guys. It's kind of like the performer in me enjoys to do that. Um, but some people were really nasty. Not, not many. I mean, trust me, so many of you guys have been so, so amazing. So I'm not trying to like pull out the negativity there. But you know, we just, I think what I'm going to try to do a better job of is, and I'm, ta I'm not talking people that might have been passive aggressive or having a bad day, but people that are on the channel that are here to consume a specific type of content, but not, but not be sort of fully involved in, in sort of the way we want to live our life, which is uh, to be sharing positive energy and things like that. I'm just going to block them because I'm going to give them the chance to go find other content. That's what I'm going to do. So if it's not working with us, don't hate watch me. Don't get your blood boiling. We'll block you and then you can go find somewhere else. And of course, I'm preaching to the choir. You guys have all been amazing. By the way, Tasha destroyed, destroyed her floral budget. This was just, I don't want to be careful here. This was just her bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. They literally, wait till you see, I mean, if this was in the States, this would have been $100,000 worth of flowers that they used here. Um, so we had our good friend Carl do magic. He's a professional magician. He blew everybody's minds. If you go to some of the pages, you'll see Katie Thurston had posted some videos. Uh, she's there on the right. She posted some videos of um, Carl doing magic. Unbelievable. So I can't share the audio of this, but here's us doing the first kiss after we got married and did the thing there. Just posted this. She's got her big bouquet. And then our first photo that they shared um, we haven't even seen any of the photos yet, but there's a ton of good ones. Here's one of my favorite parts. These are my younger brothers. I'm gonna rewind. Uh, we decided to get my younger brothers involved by doing what's called <laughs> beer bros. And beer bros, 
It's kind of like the flower girl, but instead they pass out Coronita. So here they are. Yeah. It was a great um, sort of way to break the tension. And then they came up to the front and gave me a hug and straightened my jacket out and everything. Um, of course, we had some. And then here, this says Dave's very superstitious, but we all had to take the same bus together. But Tasha wouldn't let me see her at all the day uh, the day of the wedding, so they blindfolded me. So there I am in the back with a nice, um, you know, some sort of like um, essential oil infused moist towelette on my face. Uh, was I nervous? It's a good question. Um, all right, so here's my mom. I just I want to give Connie a shout out. My mom checking out of the resort. She doesn't use Instagram, but she should be shouted out regardless. My favorite moment with my mom on the trip may have been getting to do beach yoga with her. I know she'll be sipping her morning coffee and thinking about that morning too. So big shout out to my mom. We had such a good time. So there's my mom at morning yoga and um, just a real core memory, as they say. Uh, here we are after the wedding walking away. And of course, I'll have plenty of extra content. I'll have the full reception on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'm sorry, the full wedding, they made us, we did a lot of kissing there, some slow motion. So I wanted to share a little bit with you guys for those that wanted to stick around and have been wondering how we're doing. Um, there we are getting our morning Baileys and some behind the scenes. They made Tasha, I mean, listen, they didn't need to do much work to make Tasha look good, but she was a star. And um, today we're going to get a chance to spend some uh, time with some of the immediate family and then tomorrow afternoon we'll be flying back so you might get a video or two from me tomorrow maybe one today um, other than that if you're watching this I have a 30 minute video where I talked to uh, Marilyn who wrote a dissertation on The Bachelor a very interesting conversation we had that's live right now you can go check it out and I'll talk to you guys later bye everybody